Hi, I'm Linda and this is Huddens Valley Permaculture. It's late March here and it's soon going to cool down. And while my comfrey is growing really well at the moment, it won't be for long. So today I'm going to take the opportunity to take a harvest and mulch my perennial bed of asparagus, artichokes and strawberries. But before I do that, I'm going to transplant some of my artichokes that I've decided are in the wrong spot over into my perennial bed. But before I get started with either transplanting or mulching, I'm going to have to tidy up these beds. Over the summer I've seen snakes in this rock wall garden, so I've kind of just let it go a bit. Although there are still snakes around, I have to get this garden done. So hopefully, if I make enough noise, the snakes will happily move on. Originally this whole area was lawn and I've struggled with the grasses, particularly along the edge of the rock wall. The only way I'm dealing with this is to keep pulling it out. So who knows, maybe I'll have to do it forever. With the grasses, if they don't have any seeds, I'm happy just to leave them in place as the mulch and the comfrey will go on top of it. If they do have a seed head, I'll be removing them because I don't really want paspalum continuing to grow in my garden. The sickle just helps remove the roots from the, the soil and it doesn't really dig into the soil too much. So it just carefully pulls that out, quick and easy. Now I did have chamomile growing here as well, so I'm just going to get those out as well while I'm here. And that can be used as the mulch layer as well. Now there's some remains of some um, comfrey I've had here before. But over summer it's got quite dry. I'm hoping that as we get some um, rains coming that will uh, start to break down and uh, feed the plants a little bit more. These asparagus plants are all the same age. Some of them have just got a lot more resources, a lot more water and they've done a heap better than some of the others which have dried out a little bit over summer. It's a bit hard to get the grasses out from around the asparagus crown. This is where it gets tricky when it's all down in that rock wall. It's just really hard to get out. Now, while it doesn't look much better, that area is actually weeded and mulched and ready for the um, comfrey to be put on top. Now to just get the rest of the garden done. That's another chamomile plant. I'm just going to put those aside for the moment and then as I'm cutting up the comfrey, I'll cut those up and put them down on the bed as well. Makes it easier to spot where your asparagus is if it's all out the way. That's a paspalum. I'll just throw that right out the way because it's seeding already. And we don't want that. Weeding's all done now and I've selected locations to move my plants to. Now it's just a matter of getting them out of the ground. I'm just going to start with this plant here and trim it down a little bit first, just so I can see what I'm doing. Let's have a look here. So we've got plants growing around the base here. Just got to dig that out and protect that area. So they're coming out of this side as well. And I've got a third one. You could probably split them all. But I'm just going to do this as one clump. There we go. Wow, they've got a pretty solid root system going here. I'm going to have to dig a bigger hole than what I had anticipated, although I might try and um, just 
trim this down a little bit. Anyway, we'll see how we go. I reckon this will fit here okay. Now to just dig a hole. Now this root system is quite large. So what I think I'll do is trim it right down. I'm also gonna trim off this biggest um, pup, leaving this smaller one. And I'll trim the larger leaves off the other side and just see how it goes. So I've trimmed those off and I'm just gonna trim this one off here. That will leave this little guy. So I'm gonna trim off these larger leaves and leave this and um yeah we'll leave that one there too because this will be a bit of a shock to the system i imagine so that one's gone and hopefully it means we'll be able to support these other two a lot better all right i'm just going to trim these roots a little bit to get it into this hole Okay, so those roots are in there fairly well now. So it all fits in pretty well. Get the dirt in there, give it a good water and cross my fingers. They're not going to like me later when I cut this comfrey plant down. Now we'll just get a bit of water onto it. This one's just hiding in here. Hopefully it'll have a smaller root system than the last one. Okay, it looks like we've got flower stalk attached. So I'm going to trim that off before I dig it up. Yeah, let's get this out of here. What's above ground really doesn't give any indication of what's below ground. Look at that. I have to trim all of that up. And another one straight through there that we're breaking off. Oh. Oh. I think I've got one, two plants. Well, there you go. A surprise bonus. That worm's not enjoying it. So all we need to do to free this one is just cut through this. That's actually a really good size to plant now. I might trim this little fella up a bit as well. Well, I don't know if that'll survive, but I'll pop it in the ground and we'll just see how it goes. One done. Now the other little one. I just broke it off. I'll throw it in and just cross my fingers, I think. All right, we'll get a bit of mulch around those and uh, our fingers. Okay, this is my last artichoke here, which unfortunately I'm going to have to remove these flowers. The plant's not going to survive with that on and transplanting as well. Okay, just having a closer look. Looks like we'll have to take this flower head off as well. It'll be interesting to see how many plants we actually have here. I've got one little pup here. And one, two, three. And then I've got this other one here, which could actually be a purple um, variety artichoke. I did have some of those, but it seems the other variety is just a lot stronger. But who knows, maybe we've got two varieties right here. Anyway, let's get to digging it up. Look at all these coming at the bottom here. Maybe I'll even just pot some up to be able to give away. All right, I'll just chop this one off. Well, there you go. That's interesting. This one has just popped off on its own. And uh, these ones are separate. So, yeah, there's actually two plants there. One, two. That one might be an easy one to, to pot up. And then there's this variety, 
which I might just dig it up a little bit more. But that that one over there is separating out. Anyway, let's get the fork onto it a bit more. These are all starting to grow, so I reckon if I just cut that off there and pot that up, we should be able to get that one growing. So there's a, the purple variety artichokes. This one's still... Ah, there we go. The plant to pot up. I'll put that one into the garden over there. And then this here, there's some more just shooting there. So I'll, I'll pop that one up too. Trim it down a bit first. So yeah, I'll get that one into a pot and I'll pot this one on as well and just get these roots off it. I'm hoping they're a bit like rhubarb where you can be fairly brutal to rhubarb and it'll just grow. I don't know with um, this, but we'll see. All right, and I'll get that one potted up as well. All right, we'll be able to get that one into the ground nicely. Okay, until I get a chance to pop these up, whoops, I'm going to just stick them in some um, potting mix that I've got here and just moisten it just to keep those roots from drying out. Might have to just trim that one first. Okay, I'll just get some potting mix over the, the top of that. And um, I'll give it a water. And I'll be back later to pop those up. Okay, I reckon that'll go nicely there. So I'll get my hole dug and get this last one in the ground. soil on and we're nearly done. All right we'll get some more mulch around it soon. Now that I've got my artichokes transplanted and in the ground I'm going to give them a mulching and mulch around all the asparagus in the bed as well. So to do that I'm just going to harvest this comfrey and use that for my mulch. I just try and get it chopped a bit smaller and down on the ground just so that it retains moisture longer. Otherwise it can just dry out if we don't get rain. These asparagus are a couple of years old. I grew them from seed and they're still quite small. So you've just got to identify them before you Go chopping the comfrey because I don't want to chop those off. If there's too many strawberry plants in your garden, I often use those as a mulch as well, and it gives the rest of the strawberries a bit of extra space and a bit of mulch, and they go really well. So if some of the strawberries get chopped at the same time, there's no issue really. our garden. 
Okay, now to see if we can get these into pots. I'm just going to leave these plants in the greenhouse until they're well established and looking like they can handle the conditions outside. Thank goodness that job's finished because it's really hot now but it's been really rewarding to harvest the comfrey. It will have a chance to, to grow again before it gets too cool so I might be able to get another harvest but it's good to get that down and mulching my new transplants there and getting some little plants in pots is um, a real bonus too. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching and bye for now.